I've seen a remarkable transformation in the city. There are over 200 languages spoken on the streets of Toronto. This is where people come from all around the world to pursue their dreams, to invest their money, to look after their families, and the creative dynamism of the city is remarkable. This is the place to be. Now, Canadians don't boast, but Torontonians should. When I inadvertently intervened in a dispute between Meek Mill, who was attacking Drake, I innocently tweeted out, Meek, you're not welcome in Toronto. And uh, the account went from 10,000 to 100,000 inside a month. And I realized that I had an audience, and it was a millennial audience. You thought I was gonna let him talk shit about Norm Kelly? Like I let my city councillor be blatantly disgraced, but if you wanna say some shit to Norm, then you can say it to his face. How do I keep the account growing? I think in part is because I'm young at heart. I've always followed movies, TV, the music, or, or I should say music, the music. The hell's that? I just have an enthusiasm for interacting with you. I think the emergence of my persona as a six dad has actually helped with that need to involve young people into the political process. University profs, college uh, instructors, uh, high school teachers have told me that I've given a human dimension to political life. So in a way, I've had the ability to say to young people, millennials, that politicians, you know, aren't that different from you. Everything that's going on in the modern world is going on in Toronto. And if it's going on in Toronto, it's coming through City Hall. So here I am in my seat at the nexus of one of the most dynamic cities in the world. And I'm just going, wow, and I get paid to do this. What would I like people to say about me? That they remember me, I guess. Secondly, that I made a difference. It might have been a small one, but it was an important one. But you know, it's, it's not for me to decide. That's history's job.